what's going on, everyone? It's me, your Ram fan, yeah, Diddly Doodle. Alex Ram the Rambler. Diddly Doodle. Alex the Rambler. <laughs> and today, we're on Crusader Kings 3. And not just me will be playing today. Uh, we have Lady Rambler joining me. Thank you for having me. You may refer to me as Your Grace. Um, okay. And, uh, just to let you know that this video is sponsored by Xbox Game Pass for PC. And Crusader Kings 3 is a recently uh, released new role-playing strategy game that's just launched on the Xbox Game Pass for PC. And if you click in the link in the description, that'll give you tons more information uh, about how you'll, you, you, you can get involved. So, Lady Rambler is joining me today as I was asked to get a historian along to help me uh, make this video. Lady Rambler is a, is a full-time museum curator and she's also worked on multiple archaeological digs throughout the world. So, I, didn't, I couldn't really think of a better person to join me. Fun fact, I'm an archaeologist, not a historian. No, you're a historian. That was the... Wonderful. <laughs> Surely they're both the same thing, right? Definitely not. How would you even define a historian? Someone who has a degree in history. What's your degree in? Archaeology? Archaeology. You Both must have done some history. Yes, yeah, some. <laughs> it's okay, you're only offending all the historians out there. So although uh, we do have a fully-fledged uh, historian slash archaeologist uh, in the video today, I do hold the title between us of the uh, most wins on, on timeline, so... <laughs> you definitely don't. I do! You don't. I do! Our first date, <laughs> you, I absolutely you destroyed you. <laughs> you won one or two. It's Very a lot good more, it's a lot more. It's a lot more than one or two rounds. Oh my god. <laughs> okay. Sure, well, I'll let you have that one, sure. Mm. Very good, dear. Yeah. So what we'll be doing on Crusader Kings 3 today is playing on the 1066 start date and uh, trying to play as William of Normandy and try and take over the English throne. So thanks again to Xbox Game Pass for PC for sponsoring this video. You get access to brand new PC games and if you click on the link in the description you can start your first month for one dollar. That's a bargain. Oh and if I hadn't mentioned you can actually get Crusader Kings 3 with the Game Pass. If you do click on the link, not only will you be helping to support uh, the Alex the Rambler channel, but uh, you could also grab some a, a great deal for yourself. Although we're going to be playing this fairly historically, uh, you can pretty much play as any ruler uh, in two different start dates and play it exactly how you want to. So if you want incest, go for it. Yeah, well, nothing could go wrong. <laughs> well, I don't know. A lot of royal families used to get involved in that kind of stuff, right? That is true. Historical fact. There we go. <laughs> <laughs> Keep the um, bloodline strong. So if you potentially want to have Lady Rambler in, in future videos, of course, comment, like, and subscribe. Yay! How many likes do we need for the to get another appearance of you? At least 10,000. Wow, that's actually <laughs> quite a lot. My, my videos don't usually get that. But... Okay, right. Well, Aiming high. Uh, William... The Duke of Normandy. The House of Normandy traces their lineage back to the Norse Vikings and established themselves as on the mainland of Europe over 200 years ago. Now William II dreams of leaving his family to rule the Kingdom of England and believes his status as successor to the throne was promised by the late King Edward and even recognised by Harold Goodwinson himself. However, now that Edward has gone, Harold has broken his oath and has taken the crown for himself. So we're going to try and take it. It's too bad we're starting in 1066, because prior to 1066, there were some pretty amazing names floating around. Like, Sven the Forkbeard. What? what? Harold Bluetooth. Right. King of Denmark. Oh, Bluetooth? Edmund Ironside. Who's the first one? Uh, Sven Forkbeard. Was, was so it... now, now you have to name one of your children Forkbeard. Okay, if I have another child, I'll name them that. But currently we have Count Robert Cuthurst of Maine, Richard of Normandy, William the Red, Cecilia, Constance, and Agatha. Dear I Lord, think. how many children do you have? I've got around. My God. Well, no, we've just Duchess Matilda. But as the Duke of Normandy, we gain the trait ambitious. Uh, we're diligent. We're brave. We're a brilliant strategist, which gives us plus eight to Marshall, which is... Um, 
really, really good for winning battles. And I'm a legitimized bastard. Wahey! Hey. Yeah. <laughs> Which um, isn't really great for us. Okay, so. Could be worse. In Crusader Kings 3, you have various um, lifestyles that you can choose. But as you can see, where we have a skill of 21 Marshall, it's best for us to pick this lifestyle and we gain 40% more experience in this lifestyle too. Uh, I generally go for the strategy focus and it gives me an extra plus 3 Marshall straight away. Boom. And uh, I will probably go down the strategist one. So we get stuff like organized march, which increases our movement speed. And our archer screens and stuff like that. So. Ooh, yes, archers. Okay, well, that's something I was going to ask you. Um, what do you think would be best to create a men at arms? Do you want me to try and form some archer regiments? Yeah. Do you have the we longbow? The English longbow? Uh, no, just bowmen. Hmm. Well, we're not in England. Yet. <laughs> Yet. I mean, this is going to be a walk in the park anyways, because I am such a brilliant military strategist. What? <laughs> so we can assign guardians for some of our children. This is William the Red. He's not our first son. He's actually third in line, so he doesn't really matter too much. Ooh, Mabel. Who's Mabel? Uh, Mabel is our courtier. She is skilled in intrigue. Yeah, great. Get a sneaky son. That might... Okay, we'll do that. <laughs> that, that could backfire if he... When we what die... What could go wrong? <laughs> He could plot against our firstborn son and murder him, but, you know, whatever. Oh, who do you think we should uh, marry to our half-brother? He is an evil ravener, so he will act against me and others according to his personality. No one with an army, I guess. <laughs> what about this one? Daughter of King Harold. Ah, so he invades. I'm not sure you want to give your duplicitous re revolutionary brother uh, <laughs> to... The uh, the daughter of someone who's going to invade. Okay, okay. What about Denmark? Yeah, Denmark. So we'll get an uh, we'll get. I think we'll get an alliance with Denmark too. Nice. Uh, I'm going to merge our armies, and then I'm going to sail to Dover. Originally, uh, the Duke of Normandy just bypassed Dover. It was like a. It was still like a, a had a large garrison um, after he won the Battle of Hastings. Fun fact Hastings. about 1066. The 18th passage of Halley's Comet happened, which sparked an English monk to predict uh, that the country would be destroyed. But I'm sure you'll be fine. Well, I guess technically Anglo-Saxon England was. <laughs> True. Um, so you can see we're besieging Dover now. Uh, and then our ally, the King of Denmark, is besieging Lewis. Um, and then at the same time, I think that the King of Norway is also invading in the nor northern part of England. Historically, he was defeated. He was, yeah. Wait, who, who are you referring to? The uh, the Norman or the Norwegian invasion. It weakened Harold II's army, so you're welcome. <laughs> okay, so an Anglo-Saxon army has come down and is being led by King Harold. Crush but him. We are large. Crush him. He's beating our ally, but as soon as we are... oh no, there's another army. Damn. Okay, yeah, we're gonna win this one easily. So that's the King of England defeated in battle, I think. Yes, Did we he won. get shot through the eye? Nope, he survived. Not historically accurate then. We're fighting Harold again, but his marshal's 19 and mine's 37. The sucker. I can negotiate alliance with Count Robert. Ooh, his wife looks sassy. An irrational adventurer. Sounds like you. I like her. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, irrational, how dare you? Uh, they are coming back to... Oh, Are yeah, they invading to... Kent? Yeah, they're coming to take back Kent. Bugger off. Can you do it the Canadian way and just ask them politely to leave? I don't think that that would work. <laughs> Let's see what my options are, talking to the king. I can scheme to murder him, but we probably won't need to worry about that. So our army, uh, yeah, it's higher quality, and then we've got the king of Denmark to come in and help us too. Excellent. Boom! Thrice defeated. We now have a 100% war score, so we yeah. can enforce our demands. So... Yeah. Yep. <laughs> Glad you're excited. <laughs> there we go. So, we have Lady now... Rambler with bloodlust. <laughs> yeah. We're now at war with the... Norwegians? Norwegians. They won't accept white peace. Did you know that, historically, William the Conqueror was crowned on my birthday? Christmas Day? 
Christmas Day. Oh, there you go. So he and I are like buddies. Me, William the Conqueror, and Jesus, we're all like up there together. I do. Mm. <laughs> okay. Yeah, so I have 23 vassals, and you want to keep them all happy, otherwise they can try and rebel against you? Well, William the Conqueror historically was the architect of the feudal system in England, so he's going to be very popular. Should I be giving, rewarding my Normans or trying to keep the Anglo-Saxons happy? Well, I think the, the lords that are already established there would be good to shore them up. Are they likely to rebel, though? Not at the moment, but they will very rapidly if I don't start giving people land. Yeah, start making them happy. If it makes you feel better, it took... Uh, the historic William the Conqueror five years to kind of subdue England, make everyone happy. That long, eh? Yep. So we have a son who's 15. Robert? Yes, this is our main son. We need to find him a spouse. Ugh, the historic Robert caused him all kinds of problems. He supported, <laughs> I think, the King of France against his father. Oh. Okay, so I'm going to try and keep Robert pretty sweet. Are you working on the Doomsday Book yet? No. I'm trying to get rid of the Norwegians. This isn't going <laughs> how it went in history. Ah, Robert's come of age. That's good. It potentially. Oh no. Um, the French king has just declared war on us. He wants the du jour. Of, he wants the county of Sable. You can pry it from our cold, dead hands. I could just surrender. You think I should try and fight a war on two fronts at the moment? <laughs> no. <laughs> no. Should I just surrender and give him this? Because he's technically our liege lord as well, isn't he? <sighs> or is he? I don't think he is anymore. No, we've declared independence from him. Okay. Should I? I, I think I think it might be wise to surrender until we have England sorted. All right. I support this cowardly action. How long did it take uh, William to pacify England? Five years before he could spend any time away from England. But he sort of had to keep an iron grip on England his whole life. Yep. And that was a large reason the uh, castle was uh, built, right? Yes, he started building castles, including the Tower of London. And the Doomsday Book was um, basically a, like a survey of England that uh, was meant to figure out which taxes were owed his predecessors so that he could reassert like financial dominance on people. Well, that's the key to running a kingdom, I guess. Just make sure yeah. you keep the money coming in. We can offer white peace. What is white peace? I keep the Kingdom of England, and he keeps his claim on the Kingdom of England. Yeah, I'm just going to do that. I'm going to I'm going to white peace after seven years of war. So what year is it now? 1073. <laughs> so apparently after 1075, uh, William the Conqueror spent most of his uh, reign in Central Europe. Or sorry, Continental Europe. Oh. Kind of peaced out. Wish I could do that. That sounds nicer <laughs> than what our current situation is. Who's your favourite uh, English king? That's a good question. I've spent I spent most of my life fascinated with the Tudor period. Yep. So Henry VIII, I guess, is uh, someone I'm very fascinated with, but he was, he was just a terrible, <laughs> terrible person. Yep. I wouldn't say I like him. I'm just fascinated with him. Elizabeth I is my favorite queen. Ah, oh, yes. No offense to the current queen. Are you sure about that? <laughs> Who's your favorite English king? Uh... Well, I don't know. I kind of like Alfred the Great, but he wasn't actually the king of England. He was just the king of Wessex. Mm. Oh, man. I have to rename Dover. What do you want to rename it to? Oh, <laughs> I don't know. Forkbeard. <laughs> Sorry, Forkbeard? <laughs> or Ironside? Call it Ironside. Ironside? Okay. Anything's better than Dover. <laughs> there we go. Our capital is Ironside, rather. How do I get London? We should probably try and get London, shouldn't we? Hmm. I don't know why you gave it away. <laughs> I was just, I was panicking. Uh, actually, in um, in our now capital... I'm going to produce some farms and fields. That gives us extra tax every month. Are you, Are okay you telling with that? me we don't have farms and fields? But, uh, not in this place. <laughs> I mean, we need food. Apparently that was part of um, Harold II's army. Why it was smaller was because he had to send some of them back to the fields to, to, to manage the harvest. What a time to invade. I love these animations. <laughs> They're good, aren't they? Yeah. I love that scar. 
He looks like he's done. <laughs> he's just done with life right now. Oh, one of our sons has pneumonia. Oh no, which one Richard. is it? Richard. He is He's not gonna second die. in line. He dies historically, so... Okay, this is an enemy I cannot protect him from. Greetings, King William of England. Peace be with you. The oc your occupation of lands which rightfully belong to me cannot be tolerated. Uh, the French King Philippe has declared war on us again. Let's start the Hundred Years War early. I mean, yeah. Like, I don't really have any money to keep these tr our army raised for very long. Oh! Prince Robert Cut Horse of England died. What did he die from? He was slain in battle by Duke Arnulf III of Flanders at age 22. So now our son with pneumonia is going to take charge. That Robert's is dead. quite the departure from history. Well, anything can happen. Yeah! <laughs> oh, uh, another child has died. Um, no! Richard, Richard just died. How did he no! die? Natural causes. Age 22. Oh my god. So now the son that we didn't really care about is uh, in line to the throne. No, no, the third the third son was his favourite son. All right. Historically, this was the son you didn't care about. <laughs> ah. Well, he's already wounded and maimed. You, you need more sons. <laughs> I am running... Oh, he's already had uh, a grandson. Oh, who's at five years old. Three years old is a gambler. <laughs> I'll raise you two bottles of milk and a pacifier. We might just have to have peace again. This isn't going very well for us <laughs> at all. It isn't. Wait, is he? Is your son missing an arm? Yes, he has no arm. His fer his fertility has dropped by 50% too. So I don't know if he's had his uh, todger gone. This is not going well. If I surrendered, what would we lose? We'd lose a bit more. We're getting no chances to build up our power again. Are you okay with me surrendering? I guess we must. I could attempt suicide. Why? Just all these defeats I've had. I've lost two sons. And my heir is without an... Oh, God. All right, you have you have grandchildren. You have a succession. It's all good. Um. Okay, so William's dead as well. All of our sons have died. Um. What did he die of? Internal injuries at 22. Oh uh, Seems to be a bad age for your children. <laughs> and now I've been overwhelmed by stress. Oh. So our heir and grandson is now this little guy. Mm. The gambler. gambler I'm gonna. Child. I'm gonna teach him the ways of life. Come on, grandson. Rambler the Gambler. Can you build castles? That's what William the Conqueror did. He built a lot of castles. Um, not currently. I don't have. We're not. We're not. We don't have enough money. You want me to construct walls and towers? We don't really castles. need it at the moment. I want castles. Build me a castle. I would prefer military camps. It increases our archer damage. Yeah, that's fine. So, um, the French have declared war on us again. How do you think I've done as king? Um, not terribly. Mm hmm. I mean, all your sons are dead and there's a war, but. Was this quite a common thing? The French just constantly declaring <laughs> war on the English? I feel like it was the other I way mean, around. Yeah. Huh? <laughs> the Hundred Years' War happens soon after this, so. Which lasted more than a hundred years because historians are good at naming things. Wherever I go, my courtier secret is sure to follow. I could, I could take her on as a lover. You want me to just start sleeping around? Yeah, get some, get some children. That would have been quite common with a king, right? Um, it would have, but it creates problems when you have bastard children that could then start rivaling your actual heirs, your legitimate oh, heirs. Fitzroy, incidentally, was the historic title for um, uh, acknowledged bastard children. Oh, they're going to besiege down our capital. They're trying to take Ironside. How dare they? In fact, they have taken Ironside. No! And they've taken our grandson hostage. Oh, this is the worst. We are not having good luck. No. Oh, we just got our queen pregnant. Hey. And Wait, you're um, the queen or your mistress? Both. Double whammy. Nice. <laughs> uh, should we keep it hidden though that we have a bastard? Uh, is your is your grandson around? Is he free? Yeah, he's been released. Then maybe keep it a secret. You, you don't you don't want a pretender to the throne, you know. Okay. Henry VIII, uh, incidentally, acknowledged his bastard son because he didn't have a legitimate son. Right. So sometimes they do get uh, legitimized. How old are you now? Histor historically, uh, William the Conqueror died around, like, 59. We're 61. Hey! We're just losing all of our French lands. 
Do I risk having a war with France? I mean, it's gone so well so far. I'm doing it. We're, do we're risking it. <laughs> One final war. France is immediately crossing over the ocean to try and take me out straight away. Of course they are. Oh no, they decided against it. It would be nice if you had a castle. All right. I <laughs> you know how you wanted a um, a fort? A castle, yes. A castle. That would have been really handy. Yeah. Uh, I should have listened yeah. to you. <laughs> Who would have thought? Yeah, our capital should have been defended a bit better than what I have done. <laughs> so, I will eat my words here and say, Milady was correct. Thank you. Thank you, peasant. Tastes like vindication. Okay, now we have plus 50% war score, so we just need to hold on to that and our capital, and we should be able to fend them off properly. But yes, having a larger garrison in our capital would have been amazing. But you know... Can you build a castle now? No, I don't have the money at the moment. They're besieging our capital again. Ah, bugger off! <laughs> yeah. Uh, we have 91%. This... That's enough to enforce our demands. They've had enough. Oh, finally I can show a war that I've won! Yeah! Uh, look, we've connected our bit again. And then once I have the money, I will build a nice large castle for you. Thank you. I've always wanted a castle. Buy me one. What? That might be beyond my <laughs> means. 10,000 likes for a castle for Lady Rambler. Oh my god, no. So I think this is just going to turn into... I imagine if we played this for hundreds of more years, just a constant war between the English and the French. I mean, that is historically accurate. <laughs> yeah, we're now 70 years old, by the way. Oh, you've lived much longer than the historic period, or the historic figure. I think historically he died on September seventh, uh, ten eighty-seven. So you've done you've done quite quite well. Your children haven't, but you no. Have. Well, all of our children died, so I could live. I guess. <laughs> You're a vampire. I've died. Grand? Oh, what? we made it to eleven hundred, and then our grandson takes over. So if we continued, William the second. We still maintain control of all of England. Yay! But I think that's where we'll have to leave it for today. Oh boy, that was a, <laughs> we did it. That was a stressful few hours. Uh, but thank you again to Xbox Game Pass for sponsoring this video. Do click on the link in the description if you do want to get more information on how you can play this on the Game Pass. And uh, thank you very much to Lady Rambler for joining us. Thank you very much. Thank you. I enjoyed my uh, my debut in your video. Yeah. Well, there we go. Um, please do comment, like, and subscribe. If you do want more of, of Lady Lady Rambler here, let us know in the comments below. Do you have any Do you have any parting moments of um, uh, any any bits of wisdom you want to share? I would normally say Vive la France, but uh, I don't like them right now. No, <laughs> they've been a thorn in our side for too long. I see. I can I can understand why you rage at them. I can hear you through the house. <laughs> <gasps> <laughs> Oh, I could actually. Oh, no, this was fun. Thank you. We could actually marry in uh, to Princess Stephanie, and become the. We could become. Yeah, you could oh. marry into France at some point, but we don't have children yet, so we can't really marry marry a six year old. Hmm. Anyway, anyway, thank you again, <laughs> and toodaloo for now. Bye bye. Many thanks to Onion Duck, Seth Cutter, Sturvik, Maximilian Foreman, Wyatt Green, Zachariah Mosby, Tad House, Cobbles Taken, Matt Zoove, Vash, Warren P. George, Dave D.Y. The Don, Valhalla Halls, Yeah Boy, Ryan Cock, Jack Troku, Jiggly Crotch, Use Beef, Sean Young, and Logan Whaley for being ridiculous for supporters on Patreon. And many thanks to all the other patrons too!